Welcome back to the game, Hammer. Woo! I still miss Santa. Playing more Rogue Legacy. Still miss Santa. He I mean, was he here, won. now he's gone. I mean, yeah. I feel like we're like, what, just like, what, 60 episodes of this, we can stop introducing ourselves. Uh... No, shut up. <laughs> I think, I'm just saying, I think people know our names. How, what, what if you were a new viewer and was like, oh, let's see where they are on their Rogue Legacy Who line. starts on the 16th and episode? And then they were like, I start, no. I don't, oh god. That guy was invisible. If you're a viewer, we're starting on this episode, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, let us know, uh... <laughs> Let us know how you feel about starting midway through the series. Like, does it do anything for you? Does it Does it help? Does, do, you, do you like not knowing what's going on? Yeah, should we just not start games? POTS! POTS! Go a link on that shit! Oh, that was really satisfying. I like I liked when I walked into the room and just all the pots fell down. Yeah, because <laughs> some, some of them were just hanging in the air. Yeah, they like couldn't spawn on top of each other. Alright, this is, this is scary. You got this. I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah. I just had to wait. Yeah. The slides are kind of out of the animal. Yeah, ow. You get used to it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Santa's <laughs> back! Uh, Merry Christmas! Oh, oh, oh. I'm not getting cold this year. Alright. Oh, I missed. What's up your only chance? Oh, I had another one. See, I made it. Only chance, Glenn. Pots! Pepper pots. Dead pots. Oh, jeez. Alright. Money, money. Hey! Go, go, go! Run! Get that money! I will. Yeah. Boosh. I feel like it's gonna be a dangerous climb in this room. Probably. I mean, it's Rogue Legacy, so. Save assumption. Too many grass ghosts. And limes. Yeah. Too many lime ghosts. My bad. You gotta get with the fruit times here, Glenn. <laughs> Kevin, I subscribe to Fruit Weekly to get ideas to name these ghosts after. What do you do with your life? See, I keep trying to subscribe to Fruit Pun Daily. But they just keep texting me about whether I want life insurance. It's really disheartening. <laughs> and they keep like they keep they keep giving me fruit related deaths. So like, are you afraid of choking on tomatoes? Why are life insurance? And it's really it's really depressing. As a lover of fruits. Wait. Are tomatoes fruits or vegetables? I always forget. Tomatoes are fruit. It's the greatest question of our times. That, I think I remember seeing somewhere where they're fruit, but if you put them in fruit salad, you're a dumbass. Yeah, that's kind of that's the sad story of tomatoes. <laughs> the outcast of fruit society. I think anything with, with like multiple seeds. Yeah. Is it fruit? That's kind of how yeah. it works. Things involving nature are far outside my area of expertise. <laughs> How does grass work? Uh, I know my dogs eat it when they've got an upset stomach. Yeah, so grass is medicine. Is what I'm saying. All natural. So that's why it, that's why they're working on legalizing it everywhere. Yeah, legalized grass. That's what, that's what all the signs say. Definitely. Take no damage. Easy. Oh, imagine if you're an assassin for this room. It's gonna be so easy. Played bullet horse games before. Oh god. Why am I so big? I mean, I've played them. Doesn't mean I'm good at them. No! No! You only hate it. Like, the only. Like, it's not even, it's not even a shoot em up. It's like arcade style. The only one I'm even remotely good at is Beat Hazard. I like Beat Hazard. Yeah. Alright. I'm a big fan of it because I, I don't know. Listening to my own music really lets me get into the zone more. Never played it, but I always like the idea of it. You should, should play it sometime. I've got it on my Steam account. Steam? Who uses that? Uh oh. That's not a serious question. Uh oh. <laughs> We're playing this game on Steam right now. Don't let out the secrets. Oh, I thought that we made it ourselves to show off. Yeah, we uh. Like we, we reverse engineered the source code. Yeah. That's 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 exactly what MORE POTS! That's that's why no one, uh -huh. that's why no one plays PC games, because it's so hard. <laughs> yeah, it's the only way. That's it's the only way to play a PC game. You have to break open the source code. 
rebuild the game yourself. My consoles are better. <laughs> uh, that was a good joke, guys. That was. Yes. <laughs> PCs. We're big PC lovers here. P PC master race. <laughs> but we also have a lot of consoles. We just love video games. I'm back to full health. Yay! Like that. <laughs> back to full health, and you have 4,000 gold. Yep. God damn it, Glenn. Still really blade. showing us up. Still blade is the best blade. Nope. Right. You're not a dwarf, you cannot fit in those secret chambers. But I wanna go into hidey holes. Nope. Hidey holes. Oh, this one looks what? fun! Nope. Pogo stick it your way across. Nah, you can stand on hot. Oh. oh. Well, that makes this room a lot less thrilling. Um it makes you feel bad. Oh god. This makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was scary. It looks like it, but thank you for doing it. Are there spikes there too? No. Uh -huh. Those are just. I thought it was like those things and... with spikes. Yeah, it's fireballs from the floor and the ceiling because. Yeah. Luckily, they can't. They can't do that to you. Spikes on the floor, fire on the ceiling. Are you sure that can't happen? Oh no, that can happen. But I there was. They were like shooting fireballs with spikes. Everywhere. No. Oh, yeah, okay. one thing per tile. We gotta do this. Just keep smacking his shield. Yeah. I made it work. It'll come eventually. Uh, let's see. Thank god. All the money. Filthy Lucre. What? Filthy Lucre. L U C R E. I don't know. They can chill. Because I have vocabulary. Look. Nobody. Nobody searched YouTube for vocabulary lessons. Let's play vocabulary lesson. Okay, maybe you did. If you, Let's play if you, Mavis Bacon teaches typing. If you found this video from searching vocabulary lesson, which I hopefully will remember to tag. Oh, we're gonna tag this video. I, I want to. This does not mean it's gonna happen. Um, probably shouldn't happen. <laughs> no, vocabulary lesson. Uh, send us a Twitter with hashtag vocabulary lesson. I have a Twitter, I keep forgetting I have a Twitter. I'm really bad at Twitter, because I can't break that barrier of who wants to listen to me talk. So I started a Let's Play channel with my buddies instead. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel like people want to listen to you talk. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep, we're going the right way. Yep, keep going. This is the room I failed at. Oh god. So, Nailed it. Nailed it. Only one, only one hit. Gotta show me out. It's, it's not, there's anything in here. <laughs> just <laughs> spikes. Guys, I just kind of <laughs> hoped that you would just jump down. I almost did, but I had a feeling. <laughs> uh, it's close it's just to the floating in the background? Yeah, it's yep. uh, lost in space. Santa's favorite elf. That's where that's his favorite elves. I don't know what he does. <laughs> I want to know what he does the ones he doesn't like. It's, uh, it's kind of gruesome. Alright, so forest is cleared out. Jesus. Let's go to the tower. Mega Man! Whoop! Uh, that's, that's, that's something I gotta play more of. Mega Man uh, Unlimited. Oh, you mean die all the time, always? Otherwise known as I wanna be the Mega Man. I wanna be the Mega Man, basically. <laughs> give you a double jump and made spikes fall out of trees. I'm honestly surprised that they haven't. That game's hard. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's really good though. It's a really good, it's, it's a really well made Mega Man game. It's just a lot harder than the classic ones. Yeah. Or, I forgot how hard the classic ones were. No, they're definitely not that hard. Yeah, I haven't played an old <laughs> Mega Man game in a really long time. I have a, I have the Mega Man Classic Collection for GameCube. Play that so fun. Nice. I also have the X Collection because I like the X games better. But I, want, I want the classic one while I was at it. Just because I was like, yeah, I'm yeah, Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Mega Man X and Mega Man X2 are the reason I love 2D action platformers. I never actually played X2. Oh my god. I, I, I only played the I, I beat the original X. And I played X4 and X5. I don't mean, I think I beat the first boss in X. Maybe. <laughs> Perfect. You know all you need to know about Mega Man X. Basically, I mean, once you, I mean, you beat Pe you beat Penguin, dude, you've got the idea for the rest of the game, minus all the other mechanics that don't help until their levels. <laughs> you've got the idea for the game, except the whole like <laughs> the, game. the whole rest of the game. But besides that, you're good. Uh, oh 
Okay. And I'm all done. I know I wanna I always meant to get I meant to get the Mega Man Zero games for Game Boy Advance. They were really good. Again, my love of 2D action. I, uh, I hate when those things explode on the wall. <laughs> uh oh, it's just so silly. Nice! Beam. Not, not hit it. That was your Jamestown skill right there. Not anymore. No. Oh no, it's all going to hell. <laughs> you got cocky. Much nicer than the and Dark Souls. Oh my god, the Moves and Dark Souls are so scary looking though. They're oh terrifying. My god, I hate them so much. They, the, the, for finding them is terrifying enough, but the first time you don't kill one fast enough and you actually have to fight it, and it just fucking drop kicks you across the room, terrifying. Oh, I hate <laughs> it. Just like, you're just fighting and all of a sudden, boom, you're all the way across the room. It's pretty much the worst thing. Uh, Dark Souls. I still need to finish that. I was gonna say fucking finish, but then I didn't, then I said I didn't get any <laughs> What are you doing, John? <laughs> I don't know. I'm pl I'm watching my friend play video games, and I'm trying to talk about other video games. Which is kind of, uh, confusing, I guess. But I, I love talking about video games so goddamn much. Oh, jeez! Okay, we made it. Get that. That was so bad. Uh, I like how you and I have similar thought processes on that, even though I'm not the one playing. Uh-oh. Oh, oh boy. Is that a blood warg? Oh boy. That's eh. terrifying. Alright, I have enough sight juice. There, there you go. go. Yeah, I was, uh... I, was, I, was, I mentioned this before when we were in the forest a while back. I was like, I hate games where you have to fight dogs and wolves, because I love dogs so much. It's kind of sad. I, I hate it. And they always, always have that, like, like the wine yeah. when you kill them. Like, <laughs> it's like heartbreaking, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, but you attacked me first, I had no choice. Or the worst one, the worst defender for that for me was uh, The Witcher 1. I'm playing through that for the first time now, The Witcher. And in Act 2, one of the side quests is to get a one of the side quests and early on early on in Act 2 is to uh, collect pots of dog oil for the gravekeeper so that he, he likes to use it to seal the coffin to it. And you have to kill the stray dogs in the town to get it. You don't have to. Oh yeah, it's side quests, you don't have to. And I was just like, I can't do this! <laughs> Alright, full health and mana. Let's go kill that boss. Boosh! What a pot. <sighs> Let's do better this time. Right? Nah. What a four-eyed loser. Alright. <laughs> Two out of three of us are wearing glasses right now. Just yeah, for the record. He's actually got four eyes. He actually does, yeah. He's in a dash. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I mean, I usually wear contacts, but not when I'm playing video games all day, because... Then my contact is... I don't blink when I'm playing a lot of video games. Woo! And then my contact lenses dry and I can't see. I never blink. That's because you're a cat. You're a cat? I, I guess so. That's I mean, it's gonna make us so internet famous. The internet loves cats, the internet loves video games. That's my plan right Put here. Put them together head. and... Oh boy! I'm in trouble. Do those not go away? They go away eventually, but I'm in trouble. <laughs> Oh my god. It's like forever to go away. It's like playing Snake. Honestly. Yeah. That's why when he, when he starts dashing a lot, you need to like... Circle the outside of the room. Oh, crap. Yeah. Uh... Dash again! This is some intense, like... Good music. Yeah. This, is, this is not going well. This is, like, this is some intense beats. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Crap! <laughs> you just barely touched the fire. <laughs> that was awful. It. That was awful. Yeah, Barbarian King is really good for that one. He just makes them all disappear. My God, you killed fucking everything. Uh, how many? Go count. No. <laughs> one, two, three, four, ninety-seven. Ninety-seven enemies. <laughs> I count that. Many so I think I'm exhausted. That was <laughs> that tiring. That was an intense. That was like that was a, a long run. Three-hour run. Do I want to be a dwarf, or do I want to have nothing spectacular going on and be amused? I don't know, but I think 
we have plenty of time to decide between episodes. Next time on Game Hammer! John picks the dwarf. Probably. Bye. Bye.